we're supposed to be giving our all to our tenants, to our, uh, to our landlords, to our bosses, to our employees, to our husbands, to our wives, to our children, to our in-laws. If everybody gives their all, what a wonderful world it would be. So then you run into the situation where, well, some people are giving their all and others are not. Well, what does the scripture say? The scripture says, do it anyway. Give your all. That doesn't mean make a fool out of yourself, but go the extra mile and give your all. And eventually that person will turn around, but if they don't, someone else will come into your life that will give their all. That is the Christian life. Give everything you've got and then give somewhat more. Give some more. That's the Christian life. And then you reap what you sow. So you see, it's not about the other person giving to you. It's about you giving so that you can reap, but you don't necessarily reap from the area that you sow into. You sow into an area and that area never does produce fruit. Well, then the fruit will come from another area because it's a, it's a universal law that cannot be changed. If this is how you live your life, giving your all in everything you do, you simply must, at some point, start to reap a plentiful harvest. You just have to. And you need spiritual eyes to show you that if the, the place that you're sowing it into doesn't produce fruit, but it comes from another direction, it's still the same spiritual law. Don't think you failed because the place that you sowed into didn't produce fruit, although it might produce fruit. You have to look at your overall life. Your overall life is a testimony of how you have lived your life. But you have to be careful because some people have not have not sowed properly all of their lives. And you may come into their life at a time where they have not yet started to, to reap. So it's not that easy to judge other people by their circumstances. But I'm not talking about that now. I'm talking about you and me. We need to give our all to be our very best. I need to be the very best pastor I could be. We need to be the very best disciples that you could be. And um, everything will just come together into a very good experience. Not without problems, but a very good experience.